I'm going to make some grocery bags. We have some grocery bags now that we, we really like them. However, they're hard to load because we have to use one hand to hold the bag up while loading with the other hand. It would be better if the bag would stand up while we load it with both hands. I was gifted some of this upholstery material. And I'm going to quilt it together with some 20 ounce canvas. That will give the bag plenty of structure. Also, by making the bag panels join in the four corners, it further stiffens the bag. And I'll add binding to the seams to finish them and that last little bit of structure to the seams. I also like the white lining because it makes the inside of the bag light and easy to see into the bag. So I'm gonna quilt these panels together. I'm, I'm doing, uh, I'm not doing padding or batting or anything. I'm just gonna quilt two layers of fabric together. And I like to use this machine. Um, it's a needle feed, so it, it feeds these, this thicker cloth through. So I've got like an upholstery grade colored fabric and I've got a, you know, I've got a heavier canvas. And I also use uh, Tex 105 thread. I mean, that's just kind of my go-to. I, I like it, it's a good size. And this machine is nice because it's got a, you know, real good size bobbin. So I can get a lot of this thread on and I'm gonna need a lot uh, you know when you're quilting you just you just use you know feet and feet of thread so this is a good machine for it and because I like to do quilting like this um, I've got this I just keep it on my machine all the time it, it flips up out of the way for any kind of assembly or anything and then when I want to quilt I can just flip this down now uh, before I start my project I have to make a decision you know like how how big of quilting am I going to do? I'm just going to do uh, squares. And so how big do I want my squares? And uh, I did a backpack that I, I quilted and I liked. I'll put a card up in the corner here. You can look at that backpack if you want. See what I'm talking about. I went and checked and I did a two and a half inch diamonds on that. So, because this is a grocery bag, I mean, I'm already going a little overboard, really, with any sort of quilting, but, you know, it's a labor of love. Uh, so, anyway, I'm going to make the, the squares a little bigger. I'm going to go three, just kind of see what that is. So, I'm going to set this up to three inches. I set the edge of this ruler right to the center of that hole. And then uh, I set my guide to where it just, when it flips down, it's just right on the three inch mark. So my idea is to have canvas on the inside and color on the outside. So I'm just gonna quilt these pieces together. Uh, another idea I have is that I'm going to start my quilting in the center of uh, the panels from end to end and then I'll just start from the bottom and work my way up and then my quilting will you know it'll more or less line up or at least that's the plan and if it doesn't uh, I'm okay with that so center just fold it in half I'm gonna try to do this without any adhesive or pins So I've got my uh, center part, center point marked. Okay, I've, I've dropped my needle in there in the center and I've got my materials lined on this end. And so that's kind of holding it. And now on this end, I can, I can line this up. I can pull it taut and line it up edge to edge. And I've got my center mark right here by my thumb and what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm just going to look look down it and kind of like I'm driving the needle right to this point and that's going to get me 
pretty much where I need to go. Is that straight? I mean, it, it looks good and, you know, like Jimmy DeResta says, if it, if it looks straight, it is straight. So now that I've got this line, uh, I can move on to uh, doing, doing the next line. And that just, uh, <laughs> wrong. So then now I will flip that down so I'll keep this stitch line on the guide. Some people kind of worry about locking, locking these in, and, and I don't. Uh, number one, my philosophy is this is a lock stitch sewing machine. So really each stitch is locked uh, <laughs> to a degree. It's very difficult to pull these out. And if it does, it's the next stitch is going to be difficult too. And, you know, I've seen a lot of garments that have a broken stitch thread. And that seam holds up for the rest of the <laughs> life of the garment. So uh, one, I don't worry about it coming un unraveled here like this. Two... When I sew this bag together, I'm going to sew right over that. And then it, it will definitely be locked in then. So when I'm doing quilting, I, I don't lock any of these. I won't back tack any of them.
Okay, cool. Well, these are my grocery bags. I hope you like that. Maybe you learned something. Maybe you were entertained. Either way, if uh, you found any value, be a subscriber to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, please. Thanks a lot for watching.